just start off in the main living take a look at this wow this man obviously loved spending his time reading probably also to do up some inspiration for all the movies take a look at these LPs they look very very old and those were actually French dictionaries. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen a collection of these ones. The officer from the hunters. Wow. And then we have beautiful painting over here. This place it's like a really really historical place with antique furniture beautiful shelves all made from wood and take a look if we take a closer look just everything is still there I think it's really one of the best manners I have ever did this is really only the beginning. Put here the fireplace. Take a look. This statue was actually a candle holder. The 
This was actually a painting of Mr. Lambert, the French scenarist who used to own this majestic mansion. Very old painting, French times. These chairs are not only unbelievably gorgeous, but we were also sitting on them and they are extremely comfortable. Also the red sofa over here. And then beautiful carpet. Wow. You can tell the dust. And over here there is a bottle of banana liquor. <laughs> Was an ashtray. Over here another one of these chairs and take a look at the wallpaper. Over there it's just gone. And this is natural decay. I can guarantee you that. And in this corner we have some chairs randomly standing here. Also as well some very very old records. They were played on a gramophone. Also with a little basket over here to store all this liquor. Also incredible guys. Alright, firstly I will give you a slight overview. Wow, simply amazing and also unreal how a person can leave such a beautiful historical property left behind with all items left unloved in the inside. So you have probably been wondering, who was Mr. Lambert? How did he look like? Well, this was a painting of him, and it's from 1997. There are also scriptures on the wall. Probably used by Mr. Lambert to express himself. So in case you did not believe me about the real story about this place. I don't want to get too much into detail to protect this place of course. But this is actually the news article of the wall case. Over here we can see Mr. Lambert. Everything is explained in the article. He was a scenarist, he sued these people and eventually he got all the money. Well, over here there's even old pictures inside the mansion. This room is upstairs, you're about to see it. It's on the writing desk. Pictures from the military. And we are still wondering if this man actually had a wife. Some pictures are gone. You can already see a person sitting over here. I don't know if this is him. Maybe in his younger days, of course. Yeah, I think this is him. He looks a lot like it in his younger days. On the other picture he was older. And over here we see his wife. And it's the same woman over here. So they had a child. They had a daughter. Over here 
this little box or suitcase even some older pictures and also a drawn picture of his wife or wear another bookshelf and I actually like how this book consists of two pairs but it makes one face this woman again and over here those are some Roman books a wall collection of them there's even more and what also is really cool is that we can find many posters about films where he performed the scenery he made use of his ideas and he mainly did the genre comedy another one of his quotes written on the wall the barometer here Oh wow, those were even other inspirations of him. It was called Operation Mozart. Probably another movie which came in the cinemas. This man had so many books. He even had stairs because otherwise he could not reach the books in the top shelves. And this is incredible. It's over here. Imagine that back in the days they used to just come inside through this door and then approximately 10 years later it's just covered with cobwebs. Roots are growing inside. And apparently the man also had a passion for art. Hmm. Well, there is many things we can find in this gigantic cabinet over here. Oh wow, what is this over here? Oh, it's actually a very old fashioned, yeah you can already see it, it was a tape measure to measure the size of certain things and I'm wondering how I actually put it back now, I assume. I don't think I can put it back. Oh, you could just swing it. Okay, very interesting. Yeah, this is a very old fashioned one. I did not even know how to use it. And there is a lot of other things. Over here we can see a beautiful picture of them. They were happily in love. This was on their wedding day. Set of keys here, completely rusty. And then if we take a look a little bit higher. Maybe this was Mr. Lambert when he was in the army. Could be the case. I am not really certain, but I would not know otherwise what this picture is doing here. Oh. <laughs> What? Oh, this is actually on a movie set. Take a look. Probably. Yeah, this was on a movie set. And he was the scenarist there. And... Do you see him in this picture? I think it's him. Do you think so? Yeah, when I look to the old picture. Yeah, that would be crazy. Oh, wow. I can definitely tell that this man was an influential person in the movie industry. Furthermore, this gigantic cabinet only has a lot of books. Okay, time to continue to the rest of the mansion. So right over here, it's quite messy, but this was the actual main door of the mansion. And you can tell that it hasn't been opened for several years. Well, 
then if we continue if we go through that door there's the kitchen but of course next to each kitchen you find a dining room and this dining room it's also wonderful wow take a look and honestly for the first time I actually don't think that this is staged because this place it's so so unknown I think we are the second ones to be inside of here and I'm so so glad it kept secret that good like I said I want to tell the story but I won't reveal too much because then the place may be known in a short time period over here you can see a bellows was used to make a fire in the fireplace by pumping air in the fire wow this is actually a Greek god Damocles I just love the chairs I just love the tiles I just love the complete room and I just adore the complete mansion well I want to go further into detail about the fireplace I think it's quite extraordinary how it has this dark blue painted color but also just the curves of the wood and the design makes it a really special fireplace then let's check out the wooden cabinet over here some plates take a look at this fork and this is actually let me see it's a coin from Austria the old currency of Austria from 1980 it is saying here on the coin I have never seen this coin honestly I also don't know which currency this exactly is well if we have any viewers from Austria then just leave it in the comment section and take a look inside of here unbelievable all the glasses just left behind over here in the cabinet also a small collection of plates left just take a look how it is designed then it's time to walk inside the kitchen oh take a look this kitchen looks very cute I like the colors completely different kitchen than other ones we have found in abandoned mansions in France take a look here a copper pan wow blades over here are also pretty cool take a look at the cobwebs there they're all black a hat from Mr. Lambert left spices over here are two other hats from him this bar is absolutely really beautiful just all these little artifacts here I really like it oh and the cowbell here these look like some old vegetables probably used to prepare a dish by him but never happened and it also smells like a lot of spices in here then this was the power room and the room for the water supply and everything 
I don't know why it looks like this. Maybe they ever wanted to fix it up, but clearly that that never happened. Okay, it's time for us to finally go upstairs to see how the bathrooms and everything look like. Oh wow, colored glass over here. Well, there we are. And the first thing I really want to show you guys is this poster. Arnold Schwarzenegger, probably everybody knows him. Famous American actor, True Lies, directed by James Cameron. And this is the movie where the owner of this mansion brought up all his inspirations and ideas for. He was the person who came up with the story. Well guys, over here I just found something really interesting. We not only find pictures of good looking women, but we have also found out about this. It's a case, it's filled with files from vaccinations from the pets of the owner. So that tells actually a story. He loved cats, he had around 20 cats, which is quite a lot. Take a look, each booklet was just a document for the cats they had. Diabolo, Polyxet, Castor, they all had a different name. Really cool to find. And this was his working place. Over here we can see his working desk. All his IDs he wrote down. His glasses, denture, but also his pipe. They are just still laying here. And this is also really incredible because this is a certificate of registration for the title of one of his works. Sunrise at Noon in the theater, a comedy by Mr. Lambert. We can also see his date of birth, 1932. Man. What the coolest thing is, is we are in an untouched place, a beautifully historical mansion today, but we can reveal the complete story of the past owner and that's not always clear for us and that makes it even more fascinating to explore here because then you can really get an imagination of the profession what these people did in their lives and how their lives used to be Over here a home trainer. Wardrobe. With some jackets and everything from Mr. Lambert. This looks like a very old scription. I see a date, 1821. Man. This must have been letters from his parents. This one is from 1969, but also that is quite a long time ago for me. Maybe for most of you viewers it won't even feel like a time that long ago. So, well, then take a look at the design. We have a mirror. You can see me in the reflection, but also just all the painting on the ceiling, but also on the walls. And then it's time to walk in this direction. 
This was the bathroom. Let's do wow. Take a look. My gosh. Oh. Honestly, I think this is my favorite or maybe second favorite bathroom I ever found. Oh, this looks so neat. What is especially really beautiful is look at the bathtub. We had a skill, which is still working properly. I am slightly over 70 kilogram. That's correct. Oh, and where is even an old picture of the woman, Mrs. Lambert? And from the bathroom, you also had a door leading to his working pod where we already were. Over here we can even see where his cats used to chill in and sleep. Then over here, I guess this was a bedroom. We have again a similar design of the fireplace with the mural. Oh yeah, this was a bedroom. Take a look. Big wooden bed. And the flower wallpaper is absolutely extraordinary. There, a wardrobe. Some clothes are sealed. Wow, but there are some gentle suits inside of here. Probably for business meetings and everything. And I am wondering what's inside of this suitcase. Descriptions. This one is from 1993. Newspaper. This was actually not a functional fireplace, but there is a painting of a wine mill inside of it. books those who are reading books but they are not written in French but strange enough in Italian here was an other wardrobe here wow <laughs> take a look on all the ties and also even more coats and blazers of Mr. Lambert Looks like he was working on something, but eventually never finished. And over here was a small bathroom, which was attached to the bedroom. Okay, let's check out the final room on this floor. Oh my, take a look at this bed, wow, this bed, it's gorgeous, gotta be careful with these cobwebs, they're just right above me, but again we have beautiful wallpaper, some decoration on the walls, oh, I think this is 
most beautiful bedroom inside of this manoir how they call it in French at least it's a French word for a mansion wow probably that was their daughter and maybe they also had a son I'm not sure about that there's also a rosary around the picture some shoes on the ground obviously he had a passion for art as well many files and also over here a newspaper from March 1950 take a look at all these old magazines they should be saved they don't belong laying here looks like this one has to do something with movie I'm just curious how it looks from the inside just want to see each page nowadays it looks totally different amazing feels like I'm living in a different century by just going through this magazine and like I said for you it may be a common thing you've already found okay this is interesting over here this picture we have found it downstairs it was the man who was painted and correct me if I'm wrong but I think it was not the owner because the owner which you saw in the news article was a different man but I'm wondering in that case who this person was so maybe if you know this person then just leave it down in the comment section well I guess it's time for us to go to the final floor and unfortunately this incredible exploration is almost to an end and I gotta say this is one of my favorite places I ever explored because it was not only a very beautiful spot but I also knew almost the complete history of the man and the woman the children who used to live here but what I don't know is why is there a map of ancient Egypt here one thing for sure after the legal battle the man became a rich and wealthy person and he earned it he had great ideas he was an inspiration for the movie industry and because he had so much money he also had servants sleeping in the final floor the attic of this manoir there's suitcases standing underneath his bed Well, another part of the attic just for storage oh, okay so like I said around 15 years the place has been abandoned this is the last calendar we can find January 2005 and now it's January 2020 almost when I'm filming this So, oh yeah, you can tell this was definitely a servant's bedroom. It's less luxurious, much more simple. There's bullets here. diary from 1936 man 
everything is still written down of what Mr. Lambert or his woman, Mrs. Lambert, were planning to do. Unbelievable. And over here, in front of the window, some very old scriptions. I think they are dated from a very long time ago. Maybe even the 1800s, like the other letter we have found. Well, we've reached it, the final room on the attic. Over here are some old tools. And appliances. No idea where all these gears were used for. An office chair. Take a look, they even used to grow plants inside of this. Mr. Moreno, it's time for you to read the final chapter to your viewers. Okay, chapter 12. We really want to thank you for watching again to this incredible place. Also thanks to Leslie, we had a great exploration. If you like the place, please leave a big thumbs up. You can subscribe down below. Leave a nice comment down below, and as we say here in France, au revoir, merci beaucoup, et peut être à la prochaine fois. <laughs>